China is home to the world's largest population of mobile communications users. With around 550 million mobile subscribers at the beginning of 2008, China is continuing to grow at a rapid pace, adding over 8 million subscribers every month. BDA forecasts that in early 2013, China's mobile subscribers will surpass the 1 billion mark. For industry participants and investors, China represents a critical market in four areas – mobile services, content, devices, and infrastructure. In services, mobile communications generate over 65 billion US dollars in revenues every year. Every month, Chinese consumers spend around 11 US dollars on mobile communications services. China Mobile has been the principal beneficiary of this massive consumer spending. With 70% of the market and over 80% of all new mobile customers in the country. The world's largest mobile operator, China Mobile, has revenues exceeding 50 billion US dollars, over 400 million customers, and a market capitalization of over 300 billion US dollars. With coverage of over 98% of the country's population, China Mobile today is seeing over 50% of its new customers coming from rural areas. In mobile content and applications, BDA expects a market worth over 14 billion today to grow to a 40 billion US dollar market in 2012. Chinese consumers on average already spend over 25% of their monthly mobile bill on non-voice applications such as SMS, MMS and color ringback tones. In handsets and other mobile devices, China is a critically important market, both as a center for global production and as a market in its own right. Over half a billion handsets are made in China every year, both by multinational and Chinese manufacturers. Over 70% of these handsets are sold overseas. Within China, BDA expects sales of handsets to grow from 200 million in 2008 to 270 million in 2012. Over 70% of the Chinese handset market is served by global brands, with Nokia at the forefront. Domestic brands have struggled in the face of global competitors, and dozens of companies fight it out over the remaining 30% of the market. In infrastructure, Chinese telecom companies spend over 13 billion US dollars on mobile networks every year. In the past, much of the spending on networks benefited multinational vendors. Multinational vendors have been in China for several decades, attracted by China's pool of engineering and manufacturing talent. While Western firms continue to enjoy strong sales in China, they face two new competitive challenges. First, the Chinese government is looking to promote national standards as a barrier to protect the domestic market from global players. In mobile communications, this is most clearly seen in the TDSCDMA 3G standard promoted by Datan and other Chinese vendors. A second, more serious competitive challenge to Western vendors is the rise of two Chinese vendors with global aspirations, Huawei and ZTE. Both Huawei and ZTE are based in Shenzhen, the nearest mainland city to Hong Kong. Both Huawei and ZTE generate more sales outside China than within. Huawei generates over 72% of its 12 billion US dollars in sales outside China. ZTE generates over 58% of its 5 billion dollars in sales overseas. Huawei and ZTE are thriving due to their embrace of global standards, not by rejecting them. While these firms initially targeted developing markets in Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Africa, Huawei and ZTE are now doing increasingly well in selling to global Tier 1 operators in Europe and soon, we believe, in North America. BDA is confident that domestic protectionist pressures will ease in China as these homegrown success stories continue to thrive. BDA was founded in 1994 as China's first independent telecommunications, media and technology consultancy. BDA will continue to assist industry participants and financial institutions to profit from this vibrant market.